Unable to clear it out yet. Now they get it across the blue line, sent up through the far side. Lancers making a semi half a line change here. Buccaneers doing the same. Buck comes back up to the neutral zone, played on the near side, chipped off the wall all the way down on the Lancers in the rink. Jones, Jacobson, Afner for the Lancers. Jan Lancers pick it up in behind their own goaltender. Yeager off in net for the Lancers, and he was in net over in Omaha during the Sunday afternoon game. Icing on the Lancers. Buccaneers with a offensive faceoff. Tony, we saw a pretty good save there by Dahlmeyer right off the get-go here. And Omaha Lancer was right on the doorstep there for the rebound, actually for the pass, and was not able to bury it home. So Dahlmeyer looking strong here. Yeah, Dahlmeyer looked strong. Kernan with the faceoff for the Buccaneers. Buccaneers win the faceoff draw back to Van Royen. Van Royen sends it down and deep over by the Zamboni door. Lancers pick it up half to half board, send it up to the neutral zone, down into the Buccaneer into the rink. Lancers chasing after it. Van Royen beats him to the puck, sets up in behind her zone. Goal chairs, Lancers still a centering pass out front. Just went wide, Dahlmeyer sent over to the far side. Van Royen picks it up down below the goal line. Engel in there to help out. Engel has it on the near side. Angle all the way up to the new side, near side to Zlinka. Zlinka dumps it down into the Lancers in the rink and must be icing on the Buccaneers. 18-34 left in the first. Well, Jared, so far so good in the first minute or so. They look like they came to play tonight. Uh, a little better, harder skating than last night for sure. So maybe it's just a small rink. I don't know what happened last night, but that's behind us and hopefully the Buccaneers continue to put the pressure on the Lancers. Absolutely. Keevan with the faceoff for the Buccaneers, send it over to the far side, chips it off the boards. All the way down on the Lancers in the rink. Lancers pick it up in behind their own goalie, sent over to the far side. Lancers have it on the far side, gets tripped up, no call. Back out to center ice, played on the far side. Here comes the Lancers all the way in, shot, go off the pipe. Well, I said goal right away, I thought it was in. Lancers send it over to the far side, and we could hear the ding off the pipes from way up here. Sent over to the far side. Menahan has it for the, the Buccaneers, played by Grammer, and sent down, and that's going to be waved off. Lancers pick it up in behind their own goaltender, played on the near side by Clark. Lancers have it now across the blue lines. Steering pass went wide of Dahlmeyer. Back on the far side, played off the half boards. Buccaneers, Grammer chases after it in behind his own goaltender. He gets knocked down. Buccaneers played on the near side. Up to Clark. Clark has it for the Buccaneers. Right in front of the penalty boxes. Van Zinkel for the Lancer sends it right back down to the Buccaneer into the rink. Sent over to the far side. Buccaneers not able to clear it out. Shot towards the net, just went wide. The puck goes all the way out down into the Lancers into the rink. Lancers pick it up in behind their own goaltender. Keevan putting the pressure on him over there with Protus. Played by Watkins. Sent towards the net. In the behind Yegoroff for the Lancers. All the way up through center ice. Buick dumps it right back down and Lancers into the rink. Yegoroff has it for the Lancers. Sent over to the far side. Oh, Van Royen could keep it in at the blue line. Buccaneers chasing after it. Buick has it for the Bucks, sent over to the far side. Down into the Lancers in the rink, shot on net, saved by Yegoroff, and the Buccaneers are going to get offensive faceoff, 16-37 of the first. Yeah, totally. that's going to be a big uh, spot for, spotlight for this game is faceoffs as they played them last year in Des Moines, last Saturday here in Des Moines. Omaha really took advantage of faceoffs. And it really showed early in that game, the Bucks getting down three nothing and having to battle back. So faceoffs could be huge here. Uh, see if we can get a win here. Yeah, I would say in the last few three, four, five games that we've played, we've been winning a lot of the faceoffs, and it has made a difference. Curtin with the faceoff for the Buccaneers. Bucks win the faceoff over to the far side. Curtin with it down below the goal line. Back out to the point. Dyer fires it towards the net, just goes wide. Centering pass right out front. And the Lancers come up with it. Puck goes all the way down on the Buccaneers into the rink. Played on the far side. West sent it to the far side. West down below the goal line, puts a hit on. 
Buccaneers eight, not able to clear it out yet. Doms plays it. Centering pass out front to West. To the far side. Zelenka has it for the Buccaneers all the way down and the Lancers in the rink. Clark for the Buccaneers comes in offsides. 15.42 left of the first period, not up at zero. Buccaneers keeping the same line out there. Omaha changing it up. Clark with the faceoff for the Buccaneers. Rosinskis for the Buccaneers on the front side. Over there with Menahan on the left side. Buccaneers send it all the way down and Lancers in the rink. Lancers pick it up in behind their own goaltender. Tried to clear it out. Van Royen able to keep it in. Fires a shot on net. Jaeger off with the save. And the Lancers bring it up to the neutral zone. Gets tipped all the way down into the Buccaneer in the rink. Van Royen plays it in behind his own goaltender. Back up on the near side. Lancers fires it, just goes wide. Played on the far side by Engel. Couldn't get a stick on it. And that goes off the glass. And we're going to get a defensive face off. 15 11 left in the first. Yeah, really good opportunity there for Borzinski's in the offensive zone. Jaeger off a solid, really big net minder. Uh, they're going to have to throw everything at the kitchen sink here. Yes. Deladonna with the face off for the Buccaneers. And we get a face, uh, false face off there by Linesman. Good job, Jeff Hammer down there running the clock. Kept it at 15 11, did not move at all. And that's experience for Jeff. <laughs> As they look over at Jeff right now, see if the clock's all right. Jeff says, I've been through this game plenty of times. He did not start. Buccaneers win the faceoff up on the near side. Dumps it down into the Buccaneer in the rink. Back over to the far side. West plays it for the Buccaneers. Plays it off the half boards. Lancers pick it up in behind their own goaltender as the Buccaneers had a delayed offsides. Had to touch it back up. Drotz has it for the Bucs. Sent over to the far side to West. Fires it on net. Save. Jaeger off with the save. Buccaneers working it down below the goal line. Lancers pick it up. They're bringing it back the other way, all the way up through center ice, across the blue line, down into the Buccaneers' defensive side of the ice. Played on the near side off the half boards. And here comes the Buccaneers back out, out of the zone. Posma with a hard hit right in front of the penalty box. As he knocked down Buick, Buick shakes his head a little bit, pops right back up, shot goes wide. Back up on the near side, back up to the blue line. Lancers keep it alive, sent over to the far side. Deladonna chasing after it for the Bucks. Back to the point, shot just goes wide. Shot on net, save. Dahlmeyer with the save, 14.04 left in the first period. That was an extremely good shift by Paul Posma there for Omaha. He brings that physical uh, aspect to the game for the Lancers. He's one of those players, you love him if he's on your team, you really dislike him if he's on the other team. So Yeah, I think he just came back last Sunday. He had a lengthy suspension, I do believe. And yep, he absolutely now, now did. Now what, what do we got? Somebody call timeout? Or if we have a time issue here. Well, you know what? Um, just by broadcasting the games in the other facilities, a lot of places have two media timeouts, and they take it around this. Yep, they took a media timeout. The Buccaneers always have selected only to do one media timeout, and that's after the 13-minute mark. So, uh, so the referee was probably thinking we needed to take our media timeout, so <laughs> it, it works. Yep. No, Tony Dahlmeyer looks solid so far, has some pretty good saves. Yeah. It, he's been, he was tested early um, on that last Buccaneers chance. It looked like uh, Yegorov did get his glove on that save. If he doesn't, that's a one nothing box game. So um, both teams are, it's, it's a pretty good, uh, solid movement between the two teams here on the ice. And uh, like I said, win this face, face off huge after a timeout. And our 
Not a bad crowd here tonight, Jerry. No, it's not. It's really nice weather today. Yeah, I had to <laughs> it'd be tough to come in out from outside <laughs> to this nice, uh, <laughs> nice weather. Exactly. Kernan with the face off for the Buccaneers. Lancaster's win the face off back to Jones. Posma now. Kernan intercepts it. And Kernan dumps it all the way down. Icing. Uh, now they're saying it came off yep. the goalie, so no icing. Buccaneers, an offensive face off. And the Buccaneers changing it up on the Keevan. Coming out for the Bucks, Watkins, the produce on that front line. Dyer and West on the defensive side. Lancers win the face off, but the Buccaneers shot on net. Jaeger off with the save, back out to the point. Dyer with it for the Bucks, sent over to the near side. Shot tipped up into a protective netting, and we get a whistle, 13.46 of the first. Knotted up at zero. Eli Protus does that so well. He's got that long reach. He can get by defenders essentially off face-offs, and he's actually done really well against Omaha this year. He's got two goals and five assists in three games. So look for him to maybe get on the score sheet tonight. Watkins with the face-off for the Buccaneers. Lancers pick it up down below the goal line. Sent over to the far side. Lancers. Up through center ice, down into the Buccaneer in the rink. Dyer chasing after it for the Bucks. Back to play it is West. West to Keevan, and a Buccaneer is able to chip it up out of the zone all the way up through center ice, down into the Buccaneer. Uh, Lancers in the rink, we come in offsides, 13-26 of the first. Yeah, we're just looking for a little too much there on the blue line, Tony. Sometimes you can just trying to cheat in just a little bit. Exactly, and you can find yourself trying to be a little too cute there. So it happens. Uh, look for the one to win the face off here. Kernan with the face off. The Lincoln Watkins, Smith, and Grammer out there for the Buccaneers. Lancers have it on the near side. Deputy chasing after it. Couldn't hang on to it. Back the other way. Rorick on the far side. Grammer picks it up down on his defensive side of the ice, back up through center ice, all the way up to Kernan, and the Buccaneers dump it right down in the Lancers defensive side of the ice, sent over to the far side. Loose puck couldn't stay in, and Buccaneers play it on the near side. Leaves it there for Kernan, Kernan dumps it in, back down on the Lancers defensive side of the ice, over to play it as Rorick couldn't hang on to it. Lancers play it off the half boards, up through center ice, down into the Buccaneer into the rink, played on the far side. Lancers top of the circles, down below the blue line, keeps it in, down below the goal line now, Buccaneers chasing after it, Smith has it for the Buccaneers, sent over to the far side to Gramer, back off the high boards, loose puck, back on the near side, Buccaneers still not able to clear it out, now they do up through center ice, played on the far side, Rory has it, dumps it down into the Lancers into the rink, Renskis chasing after it for the Bucks. played by Clark, centering pass broken up, Back to Bariscus. Fires a shot on net, save. Shot again, save. Yeager off with a couple of big saves there. And he's Lancers goaltender committed to Boston U, it looks like. On the near side, puck comes all the way out, down into the Lancers into the ring. Posma plays it. That kid gets a lot of minutes for the Lancers. Back up through center ice. Picked off. Van Royen chasing after it. Sent over to the far side. Buccaneers break it out. Minahan has it for the Buccaneers off the half boards. As the Buccaneers changing it up. Gets it there. Fires it. Shot. Save. As Buick with a nice shot on net. Lancers have it. Searing pass up front. West with a shot on net. Save. Jaeger off with a big save for the Lancers. 11-19 left in the first, knotted up at zero. Got it like Owen West jumping up in the play on that. He got that turnover, got the puck on the net. I like how the Bucks are attacking this big goal tender out of Omaha. Um, 
a guy like Owen West can really bring that production here for the defensive core. Buccaneers out shooting the Lancers six to one. 11-19 of the first. Back on the near side, up through center ice, down into the Buccaneer end of the rink. Play over the plate is West. West has it for the Buccaneers. He turns and burns, comes back the other way. Bouncing puck, loose drops, gets ran into. The Bucks able to bring it across. Blue line shot on that. Jaeger off with the save. And another offensive faceoff for the Bucks. No, let's see. Just trying to get to your, your live scoreboard there, Jared. No problem here. Uh, refresh that. Yep. There you go. Uh, still not there. Let's go down here and go to. Tap on that scoreboard. It should, should come up. Buccaneers with it at the blue line. Fires a shot. Just went wide of the goaltender. Is it that one there maybe? Top that one there. Yeah, there you go. Now you're on the live there page. There you go. Technology. You got to love it, Tony. <laughs> yeah, we, we got all kinds of tabs up here on yeah. our iPads open, and we're trying to find the live game here for Jared. So, Puck comes up out of the zone. Neutral ice face off. Watkins with the face off. With Keevan. Produce on the far side, on the left hand side. Buccaneers win the face, I'll get it back to Buick. Fires it towards net, just goes wide on the far side. Back to play it is Watkins. Watkins for the Buccaneers, couldn't hang on to it. It comes Lancers up out of the zone. Up through center ice, across the blue line, down into the Buccaneer end of the rink. Over to play it is West. Nope, that wasn't West. Back up to the top side. Lancers fires it, tips and goes high off the glass in the lounge and we get a whistle. Yeah, that was, uh, I believe that was Connor Buick. Buick, Penn State yeah. Commit. B yep. Buick, yeah. Yeah, Buick. Penn State commit. Kind of a random fact here on the Lancers, we got uh, Sikora, that's actually uh, NHL longtime players, uh, Peter Sikora's son. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Looks like he's an 07, so he'll be in here around here next year. Kernan with the faceoff for the Buccaneers and over to the far side. Engel plays it off the half boards. Dyer comes in, puts a body on him. Back off the far side. Buccaneers able to bring it up to Zelenka. Zelenka with it, couldn't hang on to it. The puck goes right back down on the Buccaneer in the rink, and that's going to get played with a high stick. 10 08 left of the first. Puck is starting to get a little bouncy with these ice conditions. Yeah. Yep. You know what, this this <laughs> old building, as everybody talks about it, it, it's just, when it's, thank goodness we don't have the humidity yet, but uh, oh goodness, yeah. uh, this old building just does not, not meant for warm weather outside at all. It's hard <laughs> on it. Remember those old Buck Bowl tournaments and yes. had to get the fog in here. Yeah, we used to have the fog bowl. Yeah. Back to the point, Buccaneers win the face off, fires it towards the net, just went wide to Jaeger off. Kern fires a shot off the crossbar. Somebody who tipped that. Looked like that might have been Doms on that Doms, play. yep. Yep. Back on the near side. Puck comes loose up to the neutral zone. Back to play to Engel. Engel sends it to the far side. Two Doms. Doms has it to Dyer on the right hand side across the blue line. Fires it right on net and Jaeger off with the save. 940 of the first period. What do you got for shots there, Jared? Just refreshing that, Tony. Let me get back on my screen here. Only have well, a couple, maybe. couple tabs here, Tony. Yep, you're good. Our shots are going to be 8-1 to one currently. Yep. And that page should refresh as, as it goes up, Very Jared. Very nice. Buccaneers with the face off right on net. Jaeger off with the save again. 9.38 left of the first. Yeah, we're, we're getting shots on goal by basically the whole lineup here, Tony. So that's good to see. Getting yeah. through the lineup and guys getting chances here. You want that instead of just being top heavy here. Clark with the face off for the Buccaneers. Sends it back to the point. Smith with it now. Smith on the near board. Searing pass out front. Back to the point. To the far side. Fires at Grammar off the pipe again. 
And the puck comes loose all the way up through center ice, down into the Buccaneer into the rink. Smith plays it for the Buccaneers. Buccaneers set up behind the Lancers goaltender. Grammer with it up through the neutral zone now. Tended for Smith. He couldn't catch up to it. Lancers delayed offsides. Opportunity for the Buccaneers to retrieve it. Back to play to Grammer. Back to Smith. All the way down in the Lancers in the rink. That got tipped. Fires a shot on that. Jaeger off with the save. At the nine minute mark, a little pushing and shoving after the whistle. Menahan skates away. Yeah, just a simple dumping off yeah. the board here. And uh, Clark skated very hard down the left side and got a really solid chance here. Yeah, I think the Lancers thought that was going to be uh, icing, but that definitely yep. got tipped past the center ice line. And yeah, they kind of skated kind of softly there, thinking yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. Watkins with the phase off. Protus, Keevan on the front side. Lanterns win the face off. They draw it on the near side off the half boards. Back to players. Van Rooyen tips and goes wide. Bounce of puck loose. All the way up to the neutral zone. And Lanterns giving us the business here. They keep it alive. Back to the point. Posma with it. Right out in front and tip just went wide of his stick. Just couldn't get the one timer. And Lanterns with a couple of one timers here off the far glass. Lanterns keep it alive. Down in deep off the far side. And Produce putting a little body on him. Sent over to the far side. Lanterns pick it up. Biederman with it on the near side. Lanterns off the half boards. Couldn't hang on to it. 8.06 remaining in the period. Played on the far side by Watkins. Searing pass up front. One timer just went wide. Dahlmeyer back out to the point. Buccaneers, tough time clearing it out of the zone. Probably the most time the Lanchers have spent in our defensive zone tonight. And the Buccaneers have been, did a good job clearing it out. Now they get it out. Keevan with it. Keevan up to Produce on the right hand side. Fires a shot on net. Save a Jaeger off. And now the Buccaneers down in their offensive zone. Back on the far side to the point, and they did keep it in. Not sure how that stayed in. Lancers with it now up through the neutral zone. Across the blue line. Back to play it is Pertis. Pertis up to West. West fires it towards the net, just goes wide. And Lancers pick it up on the near side. Back up through center ice it comes. Played on the near side by Zinka. Right out in front, loose puck. Bucks played on the near side. Deladonna with it for the Buccaneers. Tied up on the near boards. Buick in there trying to help out. Back out to the point. Shot on net by Deladonna. And the Lancers have it down below the goal line. Puck comes free on the near side. Lancers pick it up in behind their own goaltender. Played on the far side. All the way up, steering pass, home run pass. And shot on that save, Dahlmeyer, as the Lancers got in behind the defenseman and came in on one on oh. Great save by Dahlmeyer. Puck goes all the way down on the Lancers defensive side of the ice. Buccaneers changing it up. Played on the near side. All the way back out to the neutral zone. Engel with it for the Buccaneers. Sent up to the far side. Kernan with it for the Buccaneers. Zelenka was cutting, couldn't get him to the puck. Back to Van Roy and sent wide. And the puck couldn't stay in at the blue line. Engel just came off his stick funny, couldn't keep it in. Buccaneers send it right back in. Yegorov sends it to the far side. Kernan chasing after it. Buccaneers face, forced a turnover. Shot on net, Yegorov with the save. Back on the far side. Zelenka with it for the Buccaneers. Bucks have it now right up through the Buccaneer logo. Dumped down into the Buccaneer into the rink. That was Doms that dumped it in. Buccaneers on the near side. Down into the corner, Doms with it. Fires it, shot on net. Jaeger off with the save. Back out to center ice it comes. Down into the Buccaneer in the rink. Smith has it for the Bucks. He's being chased. Lancers forced their turnover. Played off the half boards. In to play it is Grammer, and now the, or the Buccaneers forced to turn over all the way up through center ice. 
Marinskis with it for the Buccaneers all the way in. Looking for the centering pass right out front. Shot saved. Jaeger off with a big save. Five minutes remaining in the first. Lancers with it on the near side. And then that's going to be icing on the Buccaneers. 4.47 left in the first period. Not it up at zero. The, the Buccaneers are starting to get a lot more guys in front of the net. Uh, there was a wide open stick side there on Yeager off on that last chance and just couldn't bury it. It was right there, just couldn't bury it. What do you got for shots here, Jared? I'm at 11-1 here, but I think it's 11-2. I don't think they added the uh, breakaway shot and goal on the, that last breakaway on Dahlmeyer, but he did a really good, really good job just sitting tight and not committing too early. Buccaneers with it up through center ice. Blanchers play it down on their defensive side of the ice. Oh, picked off uh, Menahan with the tip on net. And that caught Yeager off, off guard just a little bit. Back out to the center ice it comes. Played by West. West leaves it there. On the near boards, dumps it down in. Clark making the line change for the Buccaneers. Lancers play it off the far boards, right up through center ice. Here comes the Lancers across the blue line, down on the Buccaneers' defensive side of the ice. Deputy has it for the Lancers, fires it on net. Shot save again, and a couple of good saves with Dahlmeyer for the Buccaneers. Deladonna with it for the Bucks, able to get it off the half boards, up through center ice. Right up through center ice, down into the Buccaneer, into the rink. Lancers into the rink, I'm sorry. Lancers dumping in, they're getting a line change. Van Royen picks it up in behind their zone goaltender, right up through the right hand side of the ice. Van Royen keeps it alive, sent over to the far side. Now here comes the Lancers back the other way. Van Royen's going to have to get back, and he does. Van Royen picks it up at the hash mark, sends it to the far side to Engel. Engel up through the neutral zone. Played on the far side by Protus to Keevan. In on the near side. Lancers pick it up off the half boards, up through center ice it comes, down into the Buccaneer, into the ring. Engel, Engel up to Keevan, and Watkins comes in offside. 2.53 left in the first. Looks like they did uh, update the shots here. It's 11 3 now, Des Moines. Uh, really fast paced first period, not a lot of whistles, and good hockey so far. Kernan with the faceoff. Buckner's won the faceoff. They draw back to the far side, down into the Lancers in the ring. Now over the play to Zelenka. Zelenka to the far side to Drotz. And that goes up out of play. Get another whistle. Might have jinxed us on the uh, no whistles part. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kernan with the faceoff for the Bucks On the stick side, Jaeger off. Lancers win the faceoff. They draw it off the half boards on the far side. They just chip it up out of the zone. Back to play to West. Dom sends it down into the Lancers in the ring. Jones picks it up for the Lancers in behind his own goaltender, Jaeger off. Searing pass over to Zelenka. Zelenka with it now, sends it down in deep, back up to the far side. Kernan couldn't get to it. Lancers pick it up. They play it off the half boards all the way up through center ice, down into the Buccaneer into the ring. Dahlmeyer is just going to cover it up and hang on to it. 208 left in the first. Yeah, this is an Omaha team that really struggled in the early part of the season, but they've really come on late. Yeah, they, here. they have came on strong and getting it's unfortunately it's a little bit too too late you know yeah but uh, yeah there's an, uh, a lot of positives going yeah a lot of positive yep yeah, going the off here for them 
Defensive face off to the glove side, Dahlmeyer. Lanterns win the face off, win it back to the point. Shot just goes wide, played on the far side by Dyer. Couldn't hang on to it, Lanterns pick it up on the half court. Shot on net, Dahlmeyer with the save, just under two minutes remaining in the period. Deladonna with the faceoff for the Buccaneers. Wins it to Van Royen. Played on the near side. Puck goes all the way up through the neutral zone. Lancers pick it off. Now D Dyer chasing after it. Lancers with it. Couldn't get a shot off. Now Buccaneers bring it up through the neutral zone. Played on the near side. Varenskis has it for the Buccaneers. Shot towards the net. Just, I think it got tipped in behind the net. Couldn't, Van Royen couldn't keep it in at the blue line. Puck goes all the way back down on the Buccaneer end of the rink. Buccaneers pick it up right up through center ice. Deladonna with it. Leads it to the far side of Berenskis. Drop pass back to Smith. Smith with it now. And his pass got picked up. Here comes the Lancers up out of the zone. Posma with it for the Lancers. Two deputy. Sent over to the far side. Lancers fires a shot and the net comes off. And the net is still off. They haven't called it yet, and now it comes back on, but the net was off. 102 remaining in the first. Not sure how Dahlmeyer got that net back on. He didn't grab it. It just kind of like popped back on. Yeah, it was very strange. Yeah, it was strange. Maybe it didn't come all the way on. Maybe it just moved again, but now they're putting the pegs in, trying to reset the net. Dahlmeyer really settling in, in here for the first period, looking very sharp, locked in. Watkins with the faceoff for the Buccaneers. Wins the faceoff, draws it up through the neutral zone, all the way down, and the Lancers in the ring. Jaeger off and leaves it there to Letterman and up through near side. Pierre with it for the Lancers. Buck goes all the way down into the Lancers in the ring. Chasing after it is. Protus sent over to the far side, just came out. The Buccaneers have to retreat back out. Lancers pick it up, up through the neutral zone. Protus picks it off. Be nice to get a late goal here. Fires a shot on net. Jaeger off with the save. Back out to the point. West keeps it in. Sent over to the far side, played by Keevan. Fires it again. Shot just goes wide. And Jaeger off. West picks it up for the Buccaneers. Down below the goal line, played by the near side by Watkins. Lancers pick it up, send it up through the neutral zone. Played on the near side, Protus has it for the Buccaneers. Fires a shot, just, it did not go wide. I thought it was gonna go wide, and Jaeger off with the save. A little pushing and shoving after the whistle. Be interesting if they put any time back up on the clock. Yeah, kind of an awkward finish there to the end of the period there. And I, I think it's going to be over here. I think that puck kind of ate Jaeger off there. It's kind of like a change up. Yeah. Everybody's set for eight, and that's going to do it. After one period of play, it's the Buccaneers zero, the Lancers zero. Shots on net for the Buccaneers after one period, 12 for the Buccaneers, five for the Lancers. And um, that's about it. No scores, no penalties. I think the Buccaneers played a pretty good period of hockey. They looked a little bit better than they did last night up in Sioux City and uh, able to move the puck up through the zone and win in some faceoffs. So it's uh, going to be an exciting second period. Absolutely, Tony. I think it's got to keep staying out of the box here. And it was a physical period. And uh, both teams really did stay out of the box. I'm a little shocked by that. But uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, but good good movement back and forth on both ends of the ice. And the Bucs get some good quality shots. So looking right. for them to keep that going here for the second period. All right. We'll be back in 20 minutes with second period of action. Thanks for listening to Des Moines Buccaneer Hockey.
All right, welcome back to Des Moines Buccaneer Hockey live on Flow Sports and Mixler. My name is Tony Scott, color guide tonight. Jeremy Celine. Did I say that right, your last name? Yep, it looks like, yep. It looks like C-Line, but pronounced like Celine Dion. No, just it's making sure. <laughs> Let's see, hopefully your mic's up and going. Um, my wife's supposed to let me know if she can hear you better. Sounds great. But, uh, we'll crank you way up here so they can hear you. So, well, the Buccaneers 0-0 after one period of play and out shooting the Omaha Lancers 12-5. A couple of great scoring opportunities, both teams there in the first period. So, uh, Jer uh, I would say we're uh, got a pretty good game of hockey going on. Absolutely. Um, just a couple stats here, Tony, for scoring by period. Uh, usually the first period is where the Bucks strike first and get on the board first, but uh, here in the second period, uh, Bucks have been actually outscored 66 to 44. Uh, now on the other end of that, Omaha has been outscored 102 to 57. Oh my gosh. So this is going to be the period for the Bucks to get on the board here and get something going. And Really, when they get up on a lead here, you can't take the foot off the gas. you got to keep it going against a team like Omaha. Well, Jared found the stats page I've been looking for all year, so thanks for finding that page here, Jared. No problem. All right, Buccaneers wearing their blue jerseys going to your left on the screen. The Lanters wearing their orange jerseys. And Watkins with the faceoff for the Buccaneers out there with Produce and Keevan. And Owen West and Owen Dyer on the defensive side. Jared, you a sprint car fan? You know what? Uh, now you bring that up, I, our uh, music guy, Derek, has been trying to get me into it. You know, being yeah. from Marshalltown, you'd think yeah. I would be, you know, be kind of a, a dirt race guy, but I, I, I never got really into it, but. I don't hate it. <laughs> yeah, I took uh, I took him to the uh, his first sprint car game or uh, uh, race this year. Yep, uh, down in Knoxville National. So as you can see, I got it playing on the other screen here. Bucks in the ears with it. Shot on net. Jaeger off with the save. Up through center ice it comes. S sent over to the far side down in the Buccaneer end of the rink. Shot off the high glass. Produce in there to play it. Back up through. The neutral zone, played on the near side. Dyer with it for the Buccaneers. Sin on net save. Oh, that was a close one. It's under, like it's under that right trapper. And uh, Lancers keep it 0-0, and good opportunity there for the Buccaneers. Tony kind of doing some scoreboard watching. Looks like Tri-City and Lincoln are tied 0-0 after the first. Uh, Fargo and Waterloo tied 1-1 after the first. Face-off, offensive face-off here with the Buccaneers. Lancers win the face-off, draw it on the far side. Shot on that save. Shot, goal! Yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah! That's Emma Adams link up. Back in the shot, back Jaeger off. And the Buccaneers make it a one nothing hockey game, 19-16 of the second period. And there will be some assists there as it was one off the faceoff. Yeah, patience really paid off on that backhand for Zelinka. I mean, he could have shot it right away on that backhand. The goalie was ready. He waited, and then that really fooled him on the, uh, the stick side. Andrew Clark with the faceoff for the Buccaneers. Lancers win the faceoff, they're all back to the blue line. We'll get you an assist here as soon as our sheet updates and as soon as they say it, a shot on net, Dahlmeyer with the save, and the Lancers looking to tie it up. Here we go. Let's see what they say here. Fifth goal of season, Zelenka. Jack Kernan with the assist. And that's it, I'm surprised. They might add a second assist there. From that shot from the point, I'm yeah. guessing, yeah. Yeah, we'll wait. Uh, they, they, they review every goal over there in the corner and, and uh, we'll see what they say. 
Puck goes all the way down the Buccaneer into the rink over to play is Van Royen. Van Royen off the half boards up to Menahan. Back on the near side. Buccaneer is able to control it up through the neutral zone. Played over here by Menahan. Menahan. Lorenzka's trying to get a stick on it. Fires a shot on shot towards the net. Got blocked in front. Shot on net. Jaeger off with the save. Yeah, Bucks are definitely putting some pressure in front of that net on Jaeger off. Looks like we got Della Don on the faceoff draw here. Gets a shot on the point. All right. Jaeger off with the save there on Graham. A shot from the point. Played on the near side. Buccaneers, somebody without a stick out there. Lancers without a stick. Lancers pick it up, trying to clear it out on the far side. Off the half boards, up through center ice it comes. Played on the near side by. Now that you mentioned that, Jared, you said that about the names on the jersey. Now. I just looked at them because I'm used to <laughs> just seeing the numbers and saying the names. And yeah, you're right. The names on the back of jerseys are uh, tough to see tonight. N didn't even notice it until now. I was just looking at grammars out there. I'm like, what the heck's that say? I think it's the white around the red. I'm not complaining. The, sharp, the jerseys look sharp. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, it's tough to see a little bit. Yeah, I just looked down uh, and grammar three in. Scene three and grammar comes right in my mind. I thought it said something else on the back of his jersey. I'm like, okay, maybe that's not grammar out there. Right. Yeah, I can't I can't read that at all. <laughs> back to the point and sent right back in now. I'm gonna look at it all night long. <laughs> Thanks, Jared. No problem. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to read it, any of the names yeah. and numbers. I have a tough time I'll see what I can, I'll see what I can do to help on yeah, that. There you go. <laughs> that's gonna be icing on the Buccaneers defensive face off here for the Bucks, or offensive face-off, sorry. I was looking right at the Omaha goalie when I said that. Looks like uh, Omaha does have a Des Moines native, uh, number 88, Gabe Keeney. Yeah. That's really cool to see him. Uh, yeah. I believe, I I know some of his relatives, look like he grew up a Bucks fan, and now he's yeah. on, on the rival team, so. And I do believe his mom and his sister worked our concession stands for a lot of years. Very I cool. I saw him over in Omaha, Very and cool. I recognize him. I see him on Facebook every once in a while. Oh. Oh, we got a goalie. What? I wonder if he got hurt, Tony, or he's. Well, we just had a goalie change, and Hendrickson in that for the Lancers. That's uh. Yeah, here we go, second assist. Ashton Dobbs with the second assist on that goal. I knew there would be a second assist there. Buccaneers on the far side, play it by Keevan. Off the half boards, up through center ice. It comes Van Royen with it, over to Keevan. To the far side, and the Lancers should be too many men on the ice. They got away with one there. All the way up through center ice, Keevan leaves it there. Produce has it now for the Buccaneers, back out to the blue line. Van Roy and fires it towards the net. Shot just goes wide. Hendrickson hasn't had to make his first save, but almost did there. And I think this goalie for Omaha came right out of high school and started playing after his high school season was over up in Minnesota. And I think I overheard the broadcaster last weekend say that he has had 27-28 shutouts in his high school career this last season so it's interesting you said that tony because he just shut out lincoln on the road on wednesday wow yes which, he I'm, did. And, which I'm a big fan of yep because <laughs> we need oh, that he's uh, out and uh uh jaeger off is back in now so uh, you're probably right jared probably equipment problem or i don't know i didn't see him working on yeah. over on the bench but uh yeah it didn't look like the trainer was talking to him I, I, I think somebody was working on him it looked like wilkie the coach was talking to him it looked like he was fine so it looks like possibly uh, maybe a, a knee pad issue there now the buccaneers with a defensive face off kernan with the face off for the buccaneers bucks won the face off right in front of the zamboni door
Turnover for the Bucks. Fires it on that save. Dolmeyer back on the near side. Buccaneers play it off the half boards up through center ice. Down into the Lancers in the ring. Chasing after his Linka. Linka plays it down below the goal line. Doms with it. Fires a shot. Just went wide of the goaltender. Jaeger off. Played on the near side. Lancers able to throw it. And they must have hit some light. That went way up in the air, past the blue vents, and uh, back down on the ice. I had to hit something up there. Yeah, we're going to try and take a look at it here, Tony, and see uh, oh. how close it was, I guess. Jared's going to use the new video system. Let's see how he goes. See Somebody. how my training went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me know what you find out. Offensive faceoff here for the Buccaneers. Clark with the faceoff. Buccaneers won the base off. Back to Engel. Engel on the near side. And the Lancers pick it up on the far side. Van Royen keeps it in at the blue line. At the face off dot. Buccaneers with it, trying to dig it out. Back and forth in the skates of everybody. Finally, Roy is able to move it into the corner. And the Lancers pick it up all the way up through center ice. It comes. Igler has it for the Lancers. Brings it down into the Buccaneer in the rink. Over to play is Van Royen. Van Royen down below the goal line. Engel in there to help out. And that was Andrew Clark out there, not Roy. Roy is scratched tonight, I do believe. Oh, no, he's not scratched. It was 26. Oh, yeah, 26 is out there, too. Down low, down below the goal line, played on the far side. Clark has it for the Buccaneers. Varenskis has it now on the half boards. Varenskis falls down, right back up. It goes now on the near side. Roy has it. 25 and 26 is out there on the ice. Buccaneers bring it up through the neutral zone, down into the Buccaneer in the rink. Engel chases after it for the Bucks, catches up. To it down below the goal line. Lancers making a line change. Buccaneers send it all the way down. Now the Buccaneers are making their line change. The Jaeger off leaves it there. Lancers pick it up. Play it on the near side. Grammer tips it all the way down on the Buccaneer into the rink on the plate on the far side. Played by Smith. Back to the near side. Lancers pick it up in the corner. Back to the top side. Fires it. Had a guy wide open, couldn't get it to him. Here comes the Buccaneers back up through center ice. Down into the, Buc the Lancers defensive side of the ice. The Buccaneers with it down low, back to the point. Grammer with it to the far side. Fires a shot, tipped in front, never made it to the net. And now the Buccaneers play it on the half boards. Back out to the... Centering pass out front, broken up. Deladonna with it on the far side. Buccaneers all the way up through. Lancers all the way up through center ice, and now they come in off sides. 14.07 left in the second. I was able to take a look at that chance by Omaha. It, the, it looked like Dalmar was looking behind, and the puck never got loose behind him. It actually was cleared out in front of him, so. How did you like the new video system there? I, I love it, man. I it, wish it, it, it doesn't lie, does it? It does not lie. I love no, it. No, not at all. You get a good view of it. Watkins with the faceoff for the Buccaneers out there producing Keevan. Buccaneers won the faceoff. Drawled up on the near side. All the way down to the Lancers and Rinky. Jaeger off sends it to the far side. Over the plate is Watkins. Watkins on the half boards. Played by Protus. Back on the half boards again. Buick not able to hang on. A two, two on one coming back the other way. Lancers bring it back. Side pass and could not get the puck to settle down. Opportunity for the Lancers. But a bouncing puck. They could not put it on net. I think Dahlmeyer had a good view of that. I don't think, I think he would have had it. That covered all the way. Back out to the neutral zone, up through center ice it comes. Lancers pick it up, send over to the far side. Lancers have it now, and they come in offside. 13-22 of the second. Yeah, it looked like Dahlmer gave him a little push. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Still shocked that we haven't had a penalty. I just, it, 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 Jared, I, you it, just read my mind. You know, I, I, no, I probably just jinxed it. You probably again. just jinxed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I probably just jinxed our scores bench here. Yeah. <laughs> well, when I was doing the score bench, 
Gary would always give me a hard time telling me, yeah, it was, it's out there on the internet. There's going to be a line brawl. So now I have to give, now yeah. that he's doing my job, I, uh, my old job, I have to give Gary a hard time. So I, I told Gary after the first period, I said, I guess my information is wrong because he's <laughs> had a pretty easy night tonight. Yeah. Uh, no penalties and one goal. That's a good uh, easy night for a scorekeeper down there. That's good. We got a new guy in the home penalty box tonight, so he's getting broke in a little bit here. So I hate to throw uh, everything at him on the first <laughs> night. He might not come back. Right. So. In the middle of his apprenticeship. Yes. <laughs> he's been uh, doing our video review all year long, and I was able to work him into a penalty box. Everybody likes to work that penalty box. Yeah. So over to the far side, Kernan has it for the Buccaneers. Played by Doms. Tied up. Buck ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Still not going anywhere. It's, I can't believe they don't blow to the whistle. Still not going anywhere. Still stuck up against the wall. Yep, uh, even the Omaha player was wondering why there's not a whistle. Yeah, I, there we go. Finally, <laughs> stalemate. Yep. I don't know what to call. <laughs> yeah, they're all laughing. Uh, both Omaha and the Buccaneers, Curtin, laughing about it. Yeah. People in the lounge are getting a good view of it. <laughs> Kernan with the face off, offensive face off to the glove side of Yegorov. <laughs> Lancers win the face off on the near side. Over to player to Zingle, couldn't keep it in. Back out to the neutral zone. Here comes the Lancers all the way up through center ice down into the Buccaneer end of the rink. Lancers have it now, trying to wrap it around. Played on the far side by Dyer. Back out to the near side, Lancers with it, fires it, shot off Kernan, played into the near corner. Buccaneers able to play it off the half boards, Kernan full head of steam all the way up through center eyes, leaves it there for Zelenka, Zelenka has it on the half boards, played on the far side now, nice hard hit. And that was Kernan with a nice hard hit. Buck goes all the way back down, that's gonna be icing on the Lancers, 12-17 left in the second period, up one nothing. Yeah, a hit like that can really set the tone for yeah. the rest of the period, especially, I was just about to tell you in the last break, Omaha is a very big team. Um, on D, they have three guys over six foot four. So, wow. if you can put them on their, uh, you know what, uh, <laughs> you're going to take it. So, um, that's very huge from Kernan there. Let's see if that sets the tone here. Deladonna with the faceoff for the Buccaneers after Bariscus. Grammar on the left side for the defense. And Lancers able to win the faceoff. They draw right up through center ice. Shot on net. Dahlmeyer with the save. And a little crashing in after the whistle. And pushing and shoving. And Jared, I don't think he jinxed it yet. I think we're going to skate, yeah. skate five on five still. Right. Yeah, no, a little pushing and shoving doesn't hurt anybody. Uh, it looks like that was Will Eager for uh, the Omaha Lancers. Very solid player for them. Um, he's really coming on hot lately. Like the whole team, but uh, he's also a very large presence in front of yeah. the net. So, um, no, we're doing a good job. That was I don't think that's the shot Omaha wanted. Uh, uh, looked like Dalmar had a clear view for that save. Clark, Clark with a faceoff for the Buccaneers, 12.09 of the second. Balls face off there. Jeff Hammer keeps the clock still. They give him a thumbs up. Keep on going. Buccaneers win the face off. Van Royen picks it up in behind. Dahlmeyer all the way up, and that's going to be icing on the Bucks. Buick, Minahan, Van Royen out there for the Bucks. Clark, Ryanskis out there for the Buccaneers. 12.02 remaining in the second. Offensive faceoff for the Buccaneers. Lancers win the faceoff. They drive right, right on net, shot on net. Dahlmeyer with the save. I wasn't even expecting that. I thought it was going to go in behind the net. Yep. Played on the near side. Buccaneers pick it off the half boards. Back out to the neutral zone. 
Vinny dumps it right back in, gets a shot on net. Dahlmeyer with the save, 11.43 left in the second. There we go, there's the media time. I, I knew it was gonna come <laughs> soon. <laughs> what do you got for shots in this second period, Jared? Yep, uh, with 11.43 left on our scoreboard, uh, Des Moines uh, out shooting them 15 to 11. Uh, Omaha is out shooting the Bucks here in the second period, six to three. Doing a little scoreboard watching here again. Uh, action around the USHL, Tony. Uh, Lincoln and Tri-City still tied 0-0. Oh, wow. 14.50 left in the second. Uh, Waterloo on the road at Fargo. 11.57 left in that second period. Waterloo up 2-1. to one. Um, Probably won't go through the Eastern Conference because uh, we're just <laughs> doing a lot of Western Conference uh, standings uh, watching here. Big weekend next weekend for the Buccaneers, we fill it, finish out our home season, regular season at home next weekend. A very good team coming in town, uh, Fargo Force. Uh, I'm excited to see them. Uh, they are way up on the leaderboard in the standings in the whole USHL here for that. Uh, I think, am I right, Jared, 91 points in the? I think they have 94. 94, and, and I, boy. And I, so they've, they've clinched this Anderson Cup for a while. Yeah, like um, Christmas time. Right. <laughs> yeah. And they are a well-oiled machine. Yeah. Like, they from top to de like bottom. And, and I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's former Buccaneer Brett Skinner is the head coach. Oh, yeah. I th Yep, you're right. Yep. So good to see him doing really well. Yeah, it is. Lancers win the faceoff, draw it up through center ice, down into the Buccaneer end of the rink. Shot on net, Dahlmeyer with the save, and we're going to get our first penalty of the evening. Going to get a tripping call, 11.29 left in the second period. Looks like that was Owen Dyer on that uh, penalty there. As you are correct. Just like any other player, they don't like the call. Nope. <laughs> Dyer to the penalty box. 11.29 of the second period. The Buccaneers are going to be on the Des Moines printing penalty kill. Buccaneers are about 78.5% on the penalty kill on the season. Uh, places them about, now let's go fourth or fifth in the league. Uh, power play wise, Omaha is close to the bottom at 15.5% on that power play percentage. Buccaneers gave a shorthand goal up last night up in Sioux City, so hopefully we put that behind us and uh, we don't let that happen tonight. Buccaneers win the faceoff. They draw it all the way down and the Lancers in the rink. Jaeger off, just leaves it to the side of the net. Buccaneers out there, Grammer, Protus, Van Royen, and we have one more Watkins out there for the Bucks. 142 remaining in the dire penalty for tripping. I guess you could say that was one of the pauses last night. We did not give up a power play goal. I think Sioux City was no. 0 for 5. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a, that is a positive. That's positive. Yep. Buccaneers able to clear it out all the way down to the Lancers in the ring. Yegoroff leaves it there at the goal line. Put the pressure on his Protus. Lancers bring it right up through the neutral zone, plays it on the right-hand side, tries to get it around Grammer. Poke check by Grammer, back out to the point. Jones has it for the Lancers, working it on the near side. Lancers have it at the hash marks. Buccaneers clogging up all the lanes, sent over to the far side. Back out to Jones. Jones has it on the point, sent over to the far side. Back to Jones. Fire, nope, didn't fire. I thought he was going to. I would have shot on net, saved Dahlmeyer off the shoulder into the netting behind the net above the glass, and we get a stoppage in play. 10:31 left in the second, 102 left in the period. Bucks do a penalty. Yeah, Bucks are doing a very good job of collapsing. Make it, they're starting that square and then collapse towards the, uh, the center circles. Um, Omaha really not getting a shot they want on this power play so far. Kernan with Jack Kernan with the faceoff for the Buccaneers. Buccaneers win the faceoff back to Van Roy and he's able to clear it out all the way down and the Buccaneer in the ring. Bozma picks it up for the Lancers and over to the far side. Boy, that was almost a big turnover there for the Lancers as 
Rorick was chasing after it. Lancers come in off sides, 10-15 remaining in the second. 46 seconds remaining on the dire penalty. Faceoffs going all the way down in the Lancers in the ring. Buccaneers are gonna get a shorthanded offensive faceoff. Sometimes here, Tony, it's good just to win it back and then try to skate back in your own zone, kill as much time as you can. Gurnan with the faceoff for the Buccaneers. Didn't win the faceoff. Omaha won the faceoff, draws over to the far side. Lancers setting it up. Buccaneers putting Rorick, putting the pressure on him. And he almost picked that one off. Here comes Lancers full head of steam right up through center ice on the left-hand side, played off the half boards. And the Buccaneers clear it out. Jared, I don't think they've had a shot on net on the power play here yet. No, they have not. Uh, Rourke doing a really good job on that four check. Yeah, that was a great shift by Braden Rourke there. Buccaneers switch it up and new players come out. Grammer out there, Van, or maybe Grammer and Van Rooyen was already out there. I think Lawrence gets out there now for the Bucks. And Clark, here comes Lancers all the way in on the near side, right out front. Shot off the pipe. Yep. And here comes the Buccaneers. Dyer comes out of the penalty box and he could not get the pass to a stick. Oh, that would have been a one on O oh, coming back the other way. Yeah, Dyer coming out of the box there. It was wide open. Just kind of an awkward transition to the neutral zone. Yep. It happens. I mean, it, yep. It, and whoever the Buccaneer player was that passed it, I think he was. Yeah, Clark on that Clark. one. Yeah, I yep, think yep. he was. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. <laughs> yeah. He had the deer in the headlights, yep, I think. Yep. Like an old replay of me in rec league. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember that deer pops over the, out of the ditch and you yep. have the old crap moment, yep, so. Yep, Lancers win the face off, darled up through center ice, down in the Buccaneer end of the rink. Lancers chasing after it. Tried to get it on net, couldn't. Good defense there by the Buccaneers. Kuzler has it for the Lancers, sent over to the far side. Fires it right on net, save. Dahlmeyer, 9.03 left in second. Yeah, I don't think Omaha had a shot on goal on the uh, that power play, but they did get the right post there. Uh, kind of led to the uh, odd man rush the other way. Fortunately, we couldn't uh, connect that pass there. Buccaneers with a defensive face off to the left side, Dahlmeyer. Dyers, Linka. Dom's out there for the Bucks. Engle. Kernan with the face off. Buccaneers won the face off, draw it on the near side. Up through the neutral zone. Buccaneers overskated it, and it's going to be a hand pass. 8.55 remain in the period. Lancers win the face off on the near side. Lancers pick it up in behind their own goaltender. Sent over to the far side. Played off the half boards. Buccaneers able to keep it in. Bouncing puck loose. Could not get a shot off. Lancers able to clear it up through the neutral zone. One on one coming back the other way. Engel just poke checks it away. Burning with a hard hit on the near boards. Loose puck. Buccaneers able to come up with a Gurnan on the far side, up through the neutral zone, played by Doms. Doms all the way in, breaking in, shot on net. Jaeger off with the save. Yeah, that what, that was pretty close, Tony. Uh, was that offside? Offside, offside. It yeah. did come out. Yep. Yeah. That all started though. That Buccaneers chance off uh, Edison Engel's uh, poke check on the other end yes. uh, on defense, and he's definitely one of those future players uh, that I'm very looking forward to here in Buccaneer Arena. Yeah, 07. God, I used to, I just <laughs> used to know all those days when my kids played hockey, but yep. I could tell you how old a kid is at 07. I, my kids were 90s and 95s. <laughs> I could tell you exactly yep, yep. when they were playing and yep. how old they were, but man, I, yep. I'm so far out of that. Yeah. age group thing but uh, yeah, Derek and I were uh, both looking at these these days we're 87 88 and 
you know, growing up watching the Bucks, you know, it was 98, 96, you know, and now we're up. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a bizarre life we live yeah. in, but it's, it's fun. It's. Well, my first Buccaneer game was back in high school, back in <laughs> 1985. So uh, <laughs> that's how long I've been here watching this stuff. So Buccaneers win it, even with it now. Back to the point. Grammer has it now, fires it towards the net, just goes wide. Played by Produce. And the Lancer is able to chip it up out of the zone, all the way up through the neutral zone, down into the Buccaneer end of the rink. Right shot on net, or came close to getting on net. Dahlmeyer just pokes it away. Lancers play it now. Fires it now. That was a good solid shot on net. Dahlmeyer with the save. Lancers working it down the below the goal line. Ricochets off the skate of Grammer. Now here comes Grammer, full head of steam back the other way, up through the neutral zone, down. Across the blue line, Buccaneers turn it over. Lancers break it in. Sent over to the far side. 7.30 remain in the period, and the Buccaneers able to clear it out. Back to Blade is Jones for the Lancers. Fires a shot on net. Dahlmeyer with the save. It was a nice, easy save for him. Pass intercepted. Shot on net. Dahlmeyer with the save. I think that caught him off guard. Played on the far side on the half boards. The Buccaneers able to clear it out. Up to Produce. Produce leaves it there for Keevan. Keevan comes in. Shot towards the net. Just went wide of Jaeger off. Sent over to the far side. Lancers pick it up off the half boards. Up through the neutral zone. And couldn't hang on to it. Buccaneers forced turnover. Engel tips it in net or down on towards the Lancers net. Sent over to the far side. Van Royen with it now. Van Royen whiffed on it. Tried to get a short sided shot off. Couldn't hang on to it. And here comes Lancers back the other way. Down into the Buccaneer end of the rink. Down by Zamboni Dora. Buccaneers pick it up on the near side. All the way up through center ice. Drotz has it for the Bucks. Sent over to the far side. Deladonna with it. Keeps on side. Engel fires it. Shot never made it. Lancers block it. Tried to clear it out. Drotz keeps it in momentarily, but Conway keeps it in, for, or fires it. Shot on net, save Dahlmeyer. <laughs> well, pushing it seven after the whistle on the far side. That's Drotz getting into it. Yeah, I think we're gonna get matching penalties here. Yeah, I think so too. Yep, I think the Des Moines native got a penalty. <laughs> no, Dahlmeyer's looked really good tonight. Really, he's really settled in that first period, being tested really early on on that that backdoor play. Uh, but yeah, he's been seeing the puck really well yeah. tonight. This ice can really play tricks on goalies. <laughs> it really can. Yep. Um, it, how close these uh, faceoff circles are to the sideboards. Uh, a lot of people don't know that we, you know, we do play in a smaller yeah. rink. Yes, um, but it can kind of eat up a goalie really quick. And we used to play in an even smaller rink uh, 15, 20 years ago, whatever it was. They redid all the ice here and expanded it, widened it, and, and uh, took some seating out behind the nets. And it's, it's longer and a little bit wider than it used to be. So <laughs> I've never never saw it in person, but I used to, I hear stories all the time, this old place with a chicken wire around it. So I may have saw a photo of I, that. I think I have too. <laughs> But uh, that was way before my days. My dad and my uncle can tell you when the Des Moines Oakleys and Des Moines Capitals in the IHL used to play here. So that's where the chicken wire used to come from. Lancers with it down below the goal line. There's, this whole building's got a lot of history in it. Yeah, safety first with the chicken wire. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah I remember working the uh, penalty boxes down there with no glass in the penalty boxes. Lancers with it, trying to get a shot on net, never got it, and here comes the Bucks back the other way. Zelinka has it for the Buccaneers, works it in, centering pass, no one there as his whole team was making a line change. I think he thought somebody was trailing behind him, shot on net, Dahlmeyer with the save. 108 left in the penalties, 514 left in the second period, Yeah, four on four hockey. Unfortunately, it looked like that was at the tail end of a shift there on the four on four, but it was a good try. I mean, yeah. just didn't see the three other players making a line change. <laughs> yeah, I've heard stories about the old Sioux City Auditorium. Yes. How, uh, yep. I guess the length was pretty short. Yeah, that was a small arena too. Yeah. I, I, I've seen a few games up there. 
and it's very cool. We were up there last night, and it's nice that they attached the Tyson Event Center to that old building, and um, I did not uh, get a chance to walk over to that old building, but uh, I, I used to remember being up there and sitting on the stage watching the Buccaneers play. Face off to the stick side of Dalmeyer. Buccaneers win the face off, get it to Van Royen. Van Royen up on the near side. Lorenzka's chasing after it for the Bucks. Jones has it behind his own goaltender down in the Buccaneers offensive side of the ice. Lancers with it, carried it over to the far side. 50 seconds remaining on the roughing penalties. Opens up the ice a little bit. Four on four shot on net. Dahlmeyer with the save. Juicy rebound, but Lancers could get to it. And here comes the Bucks up. Nope, he's just going to retrieve it back. Van Royen's just going to reset it. He was going to. Thought about bringing it up through the neutral zone. Buccaneers with it now down on the Buccaneers offensive side of the ice. But Lorenzkis has it for the Buccaneers. Back to the point. Fires a shot on net. Buick with a nice shot on net. 421 remain in the second period. 14 seconds on the four and four. Yeah, after that shot on goal by the Bucks, there they're getting outshot 12 to six in this period. Say that again, Jared. I was 12 six is the shots now in the second period. Uh, so Omaha really bringing up this period after getting up that goal. We kind of had a feeling, you know, they don't. They're down by a goal. They're going to be coming. So insurance goal here would be really very, very nice before the end of the period for the Bucks here. Watkins with the face off for the Bucks, right side, Keevan. Out there, Buick too, and West. Eight seconds remaining on the draw spinning. Be back five on five hockey, and uh, right now on the Buccaneers back five on five. Here come the Buccaneers all the way down. Shot goes wide to Yegorov. Down play down below the goal line. Center pass out front. Yegorov with a save. That was Buick with a shot on net. And here comes the Lanters back the other way. Deputy has it for the Lanters. Right out in front. Tipped. Never made it to the net. And the Buccaneers full head of steam coming back the other way. Watkins plays it on the left-hand side. And West blows a tire. And two on one coming back. Lancers score. Nice goal by the Lancers. Put its top shelf past Allmeyer. And the Lancers make it. 1-1, one, one, and I think that all started by... Fortunately, that Buccaneer. Uh, yeah, whoever the Buccaneer, whatever like I said there, that blew a tire there, it yeah, fell down and gave the opportunity yeah. for the Lancers to come back. And yeah, Watkins blew a tire there. Uh, Watkins, unfortunately, yeah, thank Grammar you. was back there by himself, and honestly, a really good shot by David Deputy there for the Omaha Lancers. And uh, like I said, with that being that close for a goal, it's very tough to make yeah. a save, point blank. So hopefully the Bucs can rebound here. Don't like to see a late period goal there by the opposing team, but it happens in a 1-1 hockey game. 3.36 remain in the second. Buccaneers win the faceoff. Back to play it. Doms, Doms has it now, plays it down the left-hand side. Doms with a centering pass out front and almost a go-ahead goal for the Buccaneers. Shot just goes wide off the back of the net. Yeager off looking for it. Buccaneers play it back out to the center, or back out to the blue line. Down and deep by Doms. Doms has it now, sent over to the far side to Kernan. Kernan plays it on the half boards. Kernan has it down below the goal line, getting tied up. Buccaneer fans want a penalty, not gonna get it. Kernan centering pass out front. And the Buccaneers, all kinds of traffic in the blue paint. Back to play it. This dire fire shot on net. Jaeger off with the save. Back to play to Zlinka. And a couple of good opportunities there for the Buccaneers. Now the puck comes free, back up through center ice. Played on the near side, dumps down into the Buccaneer into the rink. Grammer plays it for the Buccaneers, sent over to the far side. Buccaneers, full head of steam, coming back up through the zone. Down into the Buccaneers, offensive side of the ice. Down in deep, down below the goal line. Del Deladonna with it. Siri pass out front, just whiffed on it. Sent over to the far side. Van Royen keeps it in. Now Lancers pick it up down below the goal line. 2.20 remaining in the period. Rorick has it for the Buccaneers now. Played on the far side. Back to Van Royen. Van Royen steering pass got broken up. Intended to board the Aladana. And the puck comes free all the way down into the Buccaneer end of the ring. Buccaneers beat him to the puck. Turn and burn and come back the other way. Buccaneers send it all the way in. Icing waved off. Played to fly Rorick on the near side. 
Lancer is able to carry it back up out of the zone. Angle had it and got a piece of it, sends it right back in. Lancers skate men set up behind their own goaltender, played on the far side. Lancers have it now. Up through center ice, 140 remaining in the second period. Shot goes all the way down, deep into the Buccaneers, defensive side of the ice. Uh, oh boy, they stayed on side. Clark has it for the Buccaneers. He's trying to cut it in, and the Buccaneer fans want another penalty. Not going to get it. And they're going to not be happy about that one. The puck comes all the way down into the Buccaneer in the ring. Shot on net, saved. Dahlmeyer sent over to the far side. Berenskis has it for the Bucks. Up through center ice, it comes. Conway plays it for the Buccaneer, or for the Lanters, sent over to the far side to Dyer. Tied up below the goal line is Clark. One minute remaining in the period. West comes up where they're still tied up, and there's not even a puck there. I don't think those players <laughs> knew the puck wasn't out there. They were still I wonder what they were doing. Yeah, I was too. There were two Buccaneer, two Lancer players behind the net. Oh, right out in front in the other end of the ice. Buccaneers just about had the go-ahead goal. But they were all kicking with their skates <laughs> thinking the puck was there, and the puck was long gone. That was funny. Buccaneers with it now. Lorenz gets to the far side. Fires a shot. Jaeger off with the save. Buccaneers with the rebound. Back out to the top side. And we're going to get a whistle. And the linesman says it was offside. 20.6 seconds remain in the second. Yeah, it looked like he had a good view right there. So they'll bring the face off out to the uh, neutral zone here. Twenty point six seconds. Watkins with the face off for the Buccaneers. Buccaneers win the face off draw back, send it down in the Lancers in the rink as seventeen seconds remain in the period. It'd be nice if the Buccaneers could bury one here. Time's clicking down and it popped up out of the zone. So here's one two on one coming back the other way. Lancers on the far side. All alone couldn't get the pass. Puck to settle down, did not get a shot off, and that's going to do it. After two periods of play, it's the Buccaneers won and the Lancers won. What do you got for shots there in the second period, Jared? Shots are going to be 14-6 Omaha in that second period. You want to go through the goals real quick there yep. for both Lancers and the Bucks Abs here? Absolutely, Tony. At the 44-second uh, mark of the second period, again, the Bucks started was Adam Zelinka. Uh, assisted by Jack Kern, his 12th of the uh, assist of the year, and Ashen Doms with his fourth assist of the year. And then at the 1624 mark, uh, David Deputy uh, sniped one home. That's his 15th of the year with David, po David Posma, got his sixth assist on the year, and that leads us to the 1 1 games. All right, we're going to take a quick breather and come back in 20 minutes with uh, third period hockey. Thanks for listening to Des Moines Buccaneer Hockey.
All right, back with you, Des Moines Buccaneer Hockey, live on Mixler. I think we're live on Mixler. I'm not sure what's going on with that thing. It's uh, peeking out the level. So if you, the one listener listening on Mixler, I'm not sure what you're hearing, but uh, we reset it, and we'll go from there. The Buccaneers 1-1 after two periods of play. It's been an enjoyable game to watch, Jared, I think. Uh, yeah, pretty fluid back and forth, yeah. After Des Moines scored that first goal with the link on that backhand, you were going to hope, you know, maybe DeWine keeps the foot on the pedal a little bit, but really Omaha played very well yeah. on the returning favor of that, getting that late goal. Lancers wearing their orange jerseys going left on the screen. Buccaneers wearing their blue jerseys going to your right. Lancers dump it all the way down on a hard hit here on the near side as Dyer puts a hard hit on number 93 for the Lancers. And that was icing on the Lancers, so... Buccaneers offensive face off. Keevan with the face off for the Bucks. Sidney pass right out front, shot on net. Jaeger off with the save. Now here comes the Lancers up through the zone. And the Buccaneers have came out hitting. Down into the Lancers in the rink. Lancers pick it up in behind their own goaltender, played on the near side. Back out to the point, Dyer with it for the Buccaneers off the half boards. And the Lancers bring it up through the neutral zone, all the way up through center ice. Played on the near side by the Buccaneers, gets it over to Watkins. Watkins leaves it for Keevan and fires a shot. Deflected off the high glass, and now the Buccaneers back to play it to Keevan. Back out to center ice, dumps it down into the Lancers in the rink, over to play it as Protus. Back out to center ice it comes, over to, to Van Royen. Buck, puck goes all the way down, and the Buccaneer in the rink. Dahlmeyer leaves it there in the blue paint, sent it over to the far side. Buccaneers play it off the half boards, up through center ice. Now down into the Buccaneers offensive side of the ice. Lancers able to clear it out. Van Royen dumps it right on net. And Jaeger off with the save. Back out to center ice it comes. Lancers with it up through the neutral zone. Shot on net, save again, Jaeger off. On the far side, Buccaneers with it. Tied up on the far side. Number five for the Buccaneers. Centering pass right out front. Back out to the point, shot, or the top of the circle. Now to the point, Van Royen with it, fires a shot on net. Jaeger off with the save. I like Van Royen's shot from the point. Lancers pick it up, sent over to the far side. And Lancers able to clear it out, back out to the point, of con or out to the center ice it comes. Here comes Lancers back the other way, shot on net, Van uh, Dahlmeyer with the save, Van Royen down there to play it. I think Sikora from Omaha thought that was in uh, as uh, Dahlmeyer made that save while sliding through that, that crease. So very solid save by Dahlmeyer there. Keep this a 1-1 game. Deputy for the faceoff for the Lancers. Kernan for the Buccaneers. On the stick side, Dahlmeyer. Buccaneers win the faceoff, bring it to West. West sets up in behind his own goaltender, played by Kernan. Kernan all the way up through center ice. Tendered for Protus. Shot on net. Jaeger off with the save, back to the point. Fires it again, just went wide. Zelenka with it on the near side. Keeps it alive. Buccaneers, Kernan with it. Now centering pass right out front, broken up by the Lancers. Here go the Lancers, they play it on the near side. Up through center ice it comes. Across the blue line, down into the Buccaneer in the rink. Lancers with it on the half boards, back to the point. Gaten with it for the Lancers, but turnover for the Lancers. Buccaneers could capitalize on it as the Lancers bring it right down in front of Dahlmeyer and shot goes, backhanded shot goes up over the head of Dahlmeyer off to protect the netting. We get a whistle, 17 11 of the period. Yeah, Nick Pierre on that back door had Dahlmeyer beat, but uh, just shot it wide. Wide, yeah. That yeah, was about as close as it gets. Mm -hmm. 
Watkins with the faceoff for the Buccaneers. Out there producing Keevan. Van Royen. Got another defenseman over there. I cannot see his number. Ingle, Ingle out there for the Buccaneers. Van Royen picks it up in behind his own goaltender all the way up through the neutral zone down into the Buccaneer offensive side of the ice. Lancers pick it up in behind their own goaltender. They break it out right up through the neutral zone on the near side. Across the blue line, dumps it down in deep over the player to the Zingle off the half boards. Tries to chip it off the high glass. Couldn't do it. Now Keevan gets it up out of there. Keevan on the far side tries to split the D. Angle fires a shot on net. Yeager off with the save. Nice backhanded shot. Produce and Keevan in there with Watkins. Now the Buccaneers changing it up. 16-34 remaining in the period. Minahan and Clark comes out for the Buccaneers. Brins gets out there for the Buccaneers. Van Royen and Engel stays on the defensive side. Buccaneers win the faceoff, draw it towards the net. Yegorov had to swipe it away. Back to play to Perinskis for the Buccaneers. Fires it, shot, never made it. Lancers with it, hash marks. Clark intercepts that pass. Clark brings it in for the Buccaneers. Shot just goes wide. Yegorov back out to the point. Shot, goal! Yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah! And Engel gets the Buccaneers go-ahead goal, 16-14. Up the third period, the Buccaneers up one nothing, or up two one, one nothing in the third, I guess, two one in the game. Yeah, what a feed from behind the net there, Tony. I, yeah. I believe that was by Minihan uh, to Angle, found him on the top uh, part of that circle, and he he put it home there. That's just what the Buccaneers needed early in the third period. Face-off center eyes, Deladonna with the face-off for the Buccaneers. Zuchek out there with the Bucks. And another, and I do believe, Rorick out there with the Buccaneers on the front side. Lancers with it down below the goal, their goal line. Now the Buccaneers pick it up, trying to capitalize again. Couldn't get the shot off, Lancers pick it up, send it on the near side. Out on the defensive side is Dyer and Smith. Here we go. Let's see who that gets the assist here. Angle with this goal. Menahan with the assist. And then number, number 11, David Borinskis with the assist. Buccaneers back out center ice with it. Up. On the far side. Puck goes all the way down and the Buccaneers into the rink. Buccaneers pick it up down below the goal line. Up to Zelenka. Zelenka full head of steam up through the neutral zone. Plays it on the far side. And the Buccaneers able to change it up here. Lancers bring it up through center ice. Right up through the Buccaneer logo. Down into the Buccaneer into the rink. And that goes off there. High glass, top of the banners up there, and we get a whistle. 14.55 remaining in the third period. Bucks up 2-1. Yeah, been very impressed with Adams and Lincoln's skating ability tonight. Uh, we got him out of a trade from Waterloo with that Chris Patini trade. Uh, he's been a nice addition for this group. Face off to the stick side, Dahlmeyer. 14.55 a third. And we're gonna get a delayed face off. Kernan with, is it Kernan? Kernan with yep. the face off for the Bucks. I didn't, couldn't tell if that was 11 or 17. Lancers win the face off, fires it on net. Dahlmeyer with the save, 14.49 of the third. That was a 
nice shot on the point there by the 6'6 uh, Russian. Uh, started the season off with Muskegon, now with Omaha. About uh, the size of me. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe two of us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once again, face off to the stick side. Dahlmeyer, Kernan with the face off again. Another false face off. It's a link. Everybody's shaking their head on. Jared, I'm not. I'm so confused on these face-offs here in the USHL. I'm not sure what they're looking for, but man, they a lot of false face-offs all the time. Well, it, it, I don't know if the the yeah. wingers aren't set or the center's not set or. Well, you see those wingers kind of sneak in a little bit, and then the and that kind of it's kind of a domino effect, I think. Uh, and then the ref will try to kind of do a fake draw, and then everyone moves, and it kind of goes from there. So it's kind of a mess from the get-go. Shot towards net, goes in behind Jaeger off. Lancers pick it up. I know it's frustrating for the fans and the scorekeepers for sure, but and the players. Shot off the Anderson Cup banner again, and we get another whistle, 14-16 of the third. A lot of good memories on that 1998-99 yeah. team. Uh, kind of Fargo reminds me of them this year. You know, not very many losses, and I think they actually have seven losses. Uh, that team that year for the Bucks, they couldn't lose at home, though. No, they couldn't. I remember that season, and... For a lot of years, we had a uh, Des Moines Capitals coach, assistant coach in here that played on another USHL team back in those days when the Buccaneers were so good. And and uh, I asked him, I said, how was it coming in the Bucks arena? And he goes, man, he goes, it was tough because you always knew you were going to get your butt kicked and you think you were in the game and then the Buccaneers would just bury you. And, Absolutely. and uh, always fun atmosphere to play in here, he said, but uh, it was frustrating. He said that was a very good team they would yep. always go up with. I think he was on the Indianapolis ice at the time. Nice. So, 14.06 of the third. Yeah, back in the days, uh, the game has changed a little yes, bit. The speed yeah. and uh, less uh, physical, I would say. Yeah, a lot less yeah. physical. Not just in the USHL, but in hockey general. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Still a great sport to watch, but uh, these kids are just getting more talented with the puck and the things they can do with the puck. It's, it's honestly really impressive. Watkins with the faceoff for the Buccaneers just outside the blue line. Lancers won the faceoff, drawled on the near side, up through the neutral zone, down into the Buccaneer in the ring. Played on the far side by West. West throws it up through the neutral zone, picked off by the Lancers, sent it down, down and deep over the player to Dyer. Dyer able to clear it out to Keevan all the way down, and the Lancers in the ring, and it's going to just slide on net, and... Yegorov is just going to cover it up, and the Buccaneers are going to get an offensive faceoff. 13.45 left in the third. Quick scoreboard watch here, Tony. Oh, okay, Looks like yeah. Lincoln and Tri-City with 14.23 left in the third. They're tied 0-0. Wow. Uh, really, you know, Des Moines really needs Lincoln to not get a point tonight, let's yes. just say. <laughs> yes. Yep. And then Waterloo and Fargo are tied at 2 with 12.35 left. Yeah, Far or, uh, Waterloo's really coming on yeah, at the end of the season, too. Absolutely. Lancers pick it up down below their own goal line on the near side now. Buccaneers able to dump it back in, change, touch back up on sides. Lancers bring it to the far side, fires it towards the net, just went through the paint right in front of Dahlmeyer. Shot goes again, went wide. Van Royen picks it up in behind his own goaltender, played on the far side. Off the half boards, Lancers centering pass right up front, shot goes wide. Played on the near side by the Buccaneers off the half boards. Sent over to the far side, Buccaneers played off the half boards again, all the way up through the neutral zone, down into the Buccaneer into the ring. Lancers pick it up down below the goal line in behind Jaeger off. Sent over to the far side, Clark intercepts it for the Buccaneers, back out to the neutral zone. Lancers have it now, top of the circle on their defensive side of the ice, played on the far boards. Grammer has it off the sideboard, and I knew, I thought there was going to be a whistle. Came off the, not the sideboard, came off the Buccaneer bench, and we get a whistle. Kind of delayed there. Yep. Little shots are 7 2 Buccaneers in this third period. Oh, wow. Turning around there, aren't they? Yes, they are. Clark with the face off for the Buccaneers. It looks like the Buccaneers that came out. A little bit faster, a little bit more crisp in this third period than they were in the second period. Yep. Buccaneers with it, Dyer has it. 
tipped off the protective netting. We talk about old time hockey here at Buccaneer Arena. I, I used to have season tickets in section 16 over there, 16 and 15, though I yep. think 16. And they didn't have that protecting netting up there. You had to pay attention. Yep. I remember those warm ups are pretty yes. fun. Yes. Yeah, you didn't want to set up in your seat during warm ups. <laughs> yeah, you had to pay attention down on that end of the ice and get yourself a nice puck collection. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those were good times. Uh, and uh, I, I think the best seat in the house over there is section 16. Yeah, I like section oh, 16 and 15. It. I like watching the game from yep. the end of the ice and watching the game break out. Buccaneers win the faceoff, throws it down into the Lancers in the rink. Played on the near side, Burns just trying to catch up to it. Boy, I can't believe that wasn't a hold. Yep. Um, Lancer player was Bob Sledner uh, hanging on to his jersey, just gliding along with him back out to the near side. Dyer couldn't hang on to it. Up through center ice it comes. Buccaneers back in action next weekend. Friday night, 7 p.m. game. Saturday night, 6 p.m. game. And that will end our homestead here at regular regular season. Shot on net. Dalmeyer with the save. Played on the far side by Clark. Clark now off the half boards. Sit on the near side. Bounce and puck loose. Played by Van Royen. Van Royen back up to Berenskis. Up to the neutral zone. Attended for Menahan. Back to Van Royen now. Up through the neutral zone, down into the Eagle Lancers into the ring. And that's going to be icing on the Buccaneers. 11-29 left in the third 2-1 hockey game. Jared, are we still just had a few penalties in this game? Yeah, is that, it's, been, is it? it's actually been really very surprising. Yeah, one power play for the night, and that was for the Lancers. That's all we've had. Wow. Yep. Oh, we had a coincidental one there, I think, didn't yep, we? So but three, besides that, yep. only one power play. Yep, three total penalties wow. for the two teams. Face off to the left side of Dahlmeyer. Buccaneers win the faceoff. Van Royen's able to clear it out. And we're going to get our media timeout. 11.26 left in the third period. Buccaneers two, Lancers one. Yeah, Jared, can you look at that? I think they changed the assist on that goal. I yep. think my off-ice guys were talking about that during intermission. And Yep, uh, so uh, it was actually uh, Andrew Clark on the assist. Okay. They changed out Minihan on the original uh, assist and uh, put in Andrew Clark. So okay. angle from Borzinski's and uh, Clark. And once again, video doesn't lie, does it? No, <laughs> after seeing what we have here, yes, yeah, very yeah. impressed. Yeah, video doesn't lie. All right, center ice face-off here. Kernan with the face-off for the Buccaneers. It's a Linka out there, too. And Protus on the left-hand side. I was waiting to see the number. And Zelenka took a hit from behind. No call. Boy, he's hurting. It's a, we don't need to miss him. Boy, Zelenka hobbling to the bench, and I'll keep an eye on him. I know his parents listen, and... Uh, he went right to the bench, setting down. Trainers talking to him a little bit. Uh, just a little tap on the shoulder. I think everything's good. Shot on net. Jaeger off with the save. And as we get a whistle, I'll I believe that was on the bench over there. Yeah, I believe that was Kernan behind the net. He tried to back it, uh, bank it off of the Jaeger off's back there. Really created a really nice scoring chance. 
Well, I think Zelenka's going to be all right. Trainer, trainer's talking to him. Yep. Zelenka's back up on his feet. Uh, he was sitting down there a second, shaking his head a little bit. I think he's ready to go again. Tough kid after last weekend playing against Omaha. A couple of stitches to the face and a uh, uh, tough kid. Cool. Lancers win the faceoff. Jones carries it to the far side at the blue line. Puck comes right two on one, coming back all the way. Lancers with it. Centering pass right on net, saved by Dolmeyer. And off his shoulder, off the protective netting, and we get a whistle. 10 46 or 47 left in the third. I think Nick Pierre from Omaha wishes he had that one back. Yeah, I think he did. They yeah. had, had Dolmeyer sliding yep. left or right. Yep. Deladonna with the faceoff for the Buccaneers. Loses the faceoff. Shot towards the net, just goes wide. Back on the half boards. Over the plate is Grammer. Grammer till Deladonna. Deladonna half the half boards. Up on the near side. Buccaneers able to clear it out. Zuchek chasing after it. Lancers have it on the far side. Dumps it down into the Buccaneer in the rink. Van Royen chasing after it. Van Royen gets, gets it below the goal line. Sitting on the near side is. Zuchek, hard hit on the near side. Deladonna took a hard hit. And here comes the Bucks back the other way. Drots with it for the Bucks. Right off the high glass. Lancers with it now. Well, that number two for the Lancers, full beard there. He looks like he should be playing in the AHL, not the I USHL. I was thinking the same thing, Tony, yeah. I noticed him last weekend yep. against Omaha, or uh, over in Omaha and here at the Buccaneer Arena. I wonder if he's got flannel on underneath that jersey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, he looks like a man amongst boys. Lancers pick it up down to their defensive side of the ice. Buccaneers come in, drops with it back to Keevan. To the point, Dyer with it, fires a shot, tipped in front, went wide, never made it on net. Buccaneers play it on the far side to Watkins. Sent on the near side, Buccaneers trying to keep it in. They do, Dyer keeps it in. And it goes in, a protective name. Got a lot of whistles here in the third. Up in the protective name, we've got a whistle, 9.21 left in the third. Bucks up 2-1. It does look like Leakin just went up one nothing on the Tri City Storm, but ten wow. minutes left of that wow. third. Wow! 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 Yep. Boy, it's going to come down to the wire here between yep. Lincoln and the Des Moines, and they're tied up now. But Lincoln gets the tiebreaker with one extra win in the Buccaneers. So we'll see what happens. Clark with the faceoff for the Buccaneers, and Minahan and Baranskis out there for the Bucks. Dyer back to the blue line, over to the far side with West. West has it now, just below the blue line. Fires a shot on that. Yeager off with the save. Lancers chip it off the boards, able to bring it up through the neutral zone, trying to get it around West, not able to do it. West with a hard hit. He gave the hard hit on the far side. Here comes the Buccaneers back the other way. Varinskis has it now. Oh, overskated the puck. They're going to have to touch, touch up. Lancers pick it up. Back on the near side. Buccaneers with it. Clark has it for the Buccaneers across the blue line. Menahan plays it top of the circles, fires it, never made it. Buccaneers pick it up, send it to the far side. Fires a shot off to protect the netting again. Might have got a piece of Jaeger off off the shoulder in the protect the netting, but we get a whistle. Buccaneers offensive face off, 8.38 left in the third period. 2-1 hockey game. Yeah, and that last play for Omaha, uh, that nice hit by West. If he lets that Omaha player get by, there's a guy wide open on that weak side. So that was a great play by Owen West to prevent a, a really, honestly, good scoring chance for Omaha there. Face off to the stick side of Yegara. Watkins with the face off for the Buccaneers. Wins the face off right on front, save. Yegara with the big save. Watkins with a big shot on net for the Buccaneers. Comes the Lancer right up through center ice, sent over to the far side. Played by Engel, fires a shot, just went wide of Dahlmeyer. Back up to center ice, here comes Keevan, full head of steam, two on two coming back the other way. Keevan with it, right through his leg, shot on net. Jaeger off with the save and pushing and shoving after the whistle and we might get some penalties here in the third period. 8.08 left in the third. Yeah, that's that player you want to lose to the penalty box. Uh, that Keevan there. Oh. 
Oh, ben Keevan does that so well when he, you know, he's one of the youngest players on the team, but he's almost one of the most talented players yes. too. I think we talked before the broadcast here. The Bucks have two top three scoring rookies. Wow, yeah, I forget you said that. Yeah, yeah. So and no penalty there, Jared. Yeah, no, we'll take we're, it. We're gonna just keep rolling we're here. Keep on rolling here. So that's, I'm fine with it. I made the O call because I looked over to my left. I'm watching the sprint yeah, yeah, car yeah. race on my left hand <laughs> side, and I saw a split, sprint car flipping down the front stretch. So. <laughs> Hopefully everyone's okay yeah, there. Yeah, I was, I was looking to see if it was my driver, and yep. it's not him for a change. Yep. So I'm going to go right out of hockey season, right into racing season too. So I'm looking forward to that. Very nice. Curtin with the faceoff for the Buccaneers. Lanterns pick it up down below the old, old goal line. Back out to the center ice it comes. Dyer plays it for the Buccaneers. Sent down in deep. Trotz has it for the Bucks and over to the far side, out to the point, and couldn't keep it in. Buck goes all the way down. Dahlmeyer, man, Dahlmeyer sends it all the way up and <laughs> bounce a puck tip. No icing, good play there by Dahlmeyer. Went from one end to the other. Back out to center ice. Coway has it. Deputy tried to pick it up, but Buccaneers play it up through center ice. Kernan has it now, sent over to the far side, off the half boards on net. Jaeger off with the save. Lanters have it now up through, up, try to get it up through center ice. Buccaneers intercept that pass. And now they send it up through center ice down into the Buccaneer in the rink, played by Van Royen. Van Royen off in the corner. Now set up in behind their own goaltender. Buccaneers played on the near side. Up through center ice, down in, sent over to the far side. Van Zinkel with it for the Lanters. Sent over to the far side. Rory plays it on the half boards. And boy, I thought that came off sides, but it wasn't. Linesman right there keeps it going. 6.53 remaining in the period. Buccaneers up 2-1. Hard hit over there by Rory, putting the pressure on Ms. West. Buccaneers come up with it, play it off the half boards all the way up to the neutral zone. Lanterns bring it right back in. Van Royen picks it up in behind his own goaltender, played on the near side. Van Zickel with it, fires a shot on that. Dahlmeyer with the save. Here comes the Buccaneers up out of the zone. Two on two coming back the other way. Down into the Lancers in the ring. Buccaneers trying to wrap it around, couldn't do it. Back out to the point. Dyer fires it just wide of the net. Played on the half boards. Deladonna had it. Back to Minahan. Lanterns pick it up in behind their own goaltender. We got somebody out there missing a glove. Looks like a Buccaneer one. Jared, I never like to see that out there, seeing somebody play without a glove. Yep. Um, there we go. We and we're going to get an icing call on the Lanterns. As Mark Kruger here at the Buccaneer Arena. I don't know if you were coming here at the time. He lost his glove. Oh, yep. And Mark. man, he got cut by a skate, and that's scary stuff when uh, yeah. he was out for a little while. Offensive faceoff here for the Buccaneers. Produce on the left side. Watkins at center, and Keevan on the right side. Dyer on the defensive side, back to the point by Engel. Lancers have it now on the half boards up through the neutral zone. Down into the Buccaneer end of the rink. Nice hard hit by Dyer. Searing pass out front. Keevan picks it up here. Buccaneers, odd man rush coming back the other way. Three on two coming back the other way. Shot on that. Jaeger off with the save. Good scoring opportunity there for the Buccaneers. Now here come the Lancers up through the neutral zone, down on the Buccaneer, and the rank sent to the far side. Chasing after is Grammer. Grammer down below the goal line, and back to the point. Catton with it for the Lancers. Puck goes free on the far side. Keevan with it for the Buccaneers. Fires it on net. Jaeger off with the save. And that goes one end to the other. No icing there as Comes off the Buccaneer goalie Dahlmeyer. Buccaneers bring it up through the neutral or up to the blue line. Now up through the neutral zone, and we're going to get a whistle. I think it came in offsides. 4:41 left in the third. 
Kind of early, Jared, to be pulling the goalie right now, but I bet they are thinking about it. Lancaster's got nothing to lose here by pulling the goalie, and we'll just see. Yep. You're, I think you're starting and, to see that a lot. Oh, a lot. Mike Hastings from the Omaha Lancers used to be notorious for that, and now you're seeing it in every game. Yeah, well, I, um, they have Lance uh, goalie. They have Lance coach, Patrick Rawl. Yep. He, he started that yep. in the NHL, and he, yep. you never, ever saw a goalie come out under the two minute mark and man he started he started doing that and everybody latched on so yep. Lancers pick it up at the neutral zone throws it down towards the net went wide of Dolmeyer picked up by Van Royen Van Royen on the far side all the way out to center ice back in deep back to play it is Van Royen Van Royen has it for the Buccaneers up through center ice down into the Lancers in the rink Doms has it for the Buccaneers and the Buccaneer fans want a holding call, not going to get it. Zelenka plays it on the far side. Back to Kernan. I think the referee has done a great job tonight. I don't. It hasn't been anything really crazy or anything. He's letting them play. And yep. both teams are playing really solid hockey. Yeah, honestly. really. Yeah, that's yeah. a good way to say Safe it. Safe hockey. I would Safe say. hockey. Yep. Solid hockey. Yep. yep. Nothing really cheap after the whistles, and nothing. Nope. Uh, Respectful between these two teams. And that's going to be icing on the Buccaneers. 3.45 left in the third, 2-1 hockey game. You're talking about pulling the goalie, Tony. Uh, actually, this year in the NHL, the Minnesota Wild, kind of in a playoff race here, they actually pulled their goalie in the overtime. Yeah, I heard that my son's a Wild fan. He yeah. told me that. So if they would have, I guess, lost that game, I, th I think they don't even get a point. That's what he was yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Which is very interesting. I didn't even think about that in no. overtime. Lancers with a faceoff win off the lounge glass again. We get another whistle, 341. And I'd be in like, yeah. You're a stats guy. I'd like to see the stats on when you pull a goalie, if you actually get a goal or you get a goal scored against you and what the stats is on I just wonder right, what yep. the percentage is on that and it's like gambling you, you just never know you never know it's like the over under in a hockey game <laughs> yeah, or right. a football game yep, whatever yep. it is those bookmakers know though yes they do <laughs> the, uh, uh, Las Vegas knows big time yep, uh, yep. what that percentage is I'm sure Buccaneers with it now they sit up in behind their own goaltender uh, up to the near side, chipped down into the Lancers in the rink. Rorick chasing after it for the Buccaneers. He beats them to the puck. Centering pass out front, broken up. Buck comes all the way back out to center ice. Back to play it as West. West throws it towards the net. Back in it goes. Rorick chasing it back into it. Oh, we got it. Uh, Have to pick. Lancers have it on the far side. Lancer pick it up down below the goal line. 244 remaining in third. Back on the near side. And there goes the goalie. 240 remaining in the period. And the goalie's out for the Lancers. Extra attacker out. Empty net on one side. And we just were talking about how early it was pull Here comes Keevan. Keevan with the empty. Nope, did not catch up to it. Watkins with it now. Fires it towards the net, just goes wide. Extra attacker out there for the Lancers. Empty net on one side, put the pressure on him. There's Protus. And the fans are starting to realize there's empty net on one side. Lancers extra attacker out on the far side. Bring it across the blue line, down on the Buccaneer in the rink. Shot on net. Dahlmeyer with a save, 204 left in the third period and I would think we're going to get a timeout I would think we'll see yeah great job by Dalmar they're eating up that rebound because Omaha was attacking the net pretty hard there Dalmar with a very solid game tonight All right, timeout Omaha.
can you send what you wrote down on paper to them guys when we get closer? You bet. Because we know things can change here in a hockey game. Yes, especially with empty net. So. Yep, yep, you bet. <sighs> Buccaneers out shooting the Lancer 13 to six in this third period and 31 to 25 overall. Defensive faceoff here for the Buccaneers. Lancers looking to tie it up. Buccaneers looking to get an empty net goal. Could be not. I, I'm assuming something will happen here. There's a lot of time left on the clock. 204 left in the Absolutely. third. So. I, I, I. We'll see. I do believe Watkins in the faceoff for the Buccaneers. I couldn't see the number, but I think it's Watkins over there with Protus. Lancers won the faceoff, draw it on the far side. Right out shot. Oh boy, I don't know how that didn't yeah. go in. It looked like it was going. Great scoring opportunity for the Lancers on the one-timer. Lancers picking it up. They got a guy wide open on the our left-hand side and ricocheted right to him. Couldn't get a stick on it. Lancers putting the pressure on the Bucks. 141 remaining in the period. Right out in front again. Got a guy camped out on the left-hand side of the zone. I think it's, and they're looking for him. Number 25, I can't see who it is. And then the Buccaneers, Igler had it for the Lancers. That's who about had the tying goal for the Lancers. And here comes Igler right up through center ice across the blue line, centering pass right out front. Buccaneers back into their box there, sent over to the far side. Lancers pick it up, top of the circle again. And Lancers with it on the far side. Good job by Buccaneers trying to keep it out. Back out to the neutral zone. One minute remaining in the period. And Rorick has it for the Buccaneers. Sends it all the way down. Just over the red line as the icing's waved off. The Lancers pick it up. Right up through center ice. Down into the Buccaneer end of the rink. Over to the plate is Van Royen. Van Royen has it now down below the goal line. He fires it. Tried to get it up ice. Couldn't do it. And the Buccaneers able to clear it out. Up to the neutral zone. 37 seconds remaining in the period. Back out to center ice. Buccaneers fires it. Bouncing puck loose. And just shot wide by Minahan. Shot wide again by Kernan. And the Lancers bring it up. 20 seconds remaining in the period. Down into the Buccaneers defensive side of the ice. Van Royen able to chip it out. Delayed offsides on the Lancers. That might just do it for the Buccaneers. And we get a whistle. It's going to be offensive faceoff here for the Buccaneers. The Lancers intentionally touch that. Faceoff's coming all the way down into the Lancers defensive side of the ice. The Buccaneers offensive side of the ice. The goalie needs to come back in for the Lancers. or yeah. should come back in. And that could just wrap it up here for the Buccaneers. Yeah, that's a tough play for that Omaha plan Lancer player. If he doesn't take it, then he, he takes it the puck back and kills the time off anyway. So this gives a, a little bit of a chance here for the Lancers. Okay. Putting that face off forward. Uh, I guess we're going to get time out here. Go ahead and send that to him, Jared, and then if it changes, we'll change it. There you go, sir. All right. Well, Jared, I'm surprised the Lancers didn't get a goal there. They had a couple scoring opportunities yep. to the stick side of Dahlmeyer, and I'm surprised the Buccaneers didn't get an empty net there. They had a couple opportunities on the empty net here. So, yep. Yeah, this ice is so choppy right now. It's like players are tired. Their legs are feeding the wolf right now. It's like skating in quicksand right now. So uh, Bucks need a clear uh, face-off win here, win it back, kill this time off, and get this W. So we about are they pulling the goalie? They are. No way. 
it's kind of one of those situations where they have nothing to lose, you know? I well, mean, they, it, but it, that's just. That is strange. Well, your your three stars might change here. So yeah. I, that, I'm going to leave my phone here for you. If it does, you, you can re-text them here. But empty net again. I haven't seen this, yep. I don't think, forever. Offensive faceoff for the Bucks. Lancers win the faceoff, and they are able to draw it off, so it did work for them. Kernan plays it safe. He just dumps it in, and it's not going to change your three stars. As And the Buccaneers win. Perfect. And the Tri-City Storm won. The Lincoln Stars won. After three periods of play. Looks like tri is tied it with about eight seconds left, Tony. And the Lancers trying to start something here after the game. Good win for the Buccaneers tonight, Good win Tony. for the Bucs. Boy, they're chirping at our goaltender, Dahlmeyer, big time here. Man, he came all the way out to the obvious closing <laughs> blue line. And I thought we were going to have something happen there. Yeah. So we're going to get the three stars of the game here, here shortly. Yeah, we were kind of talking there, Tony. It looks like Tri-City did tie it late in the third period. It's 1-1 going into overtime in Lincoln. So uh, good news for the Bucks, and uh, see if we can get the Storm to pull yeah, it out. Yeah, see if uh, Storm can could uh, finish this off and win that one and man, Buccaneers at least get an extra point in this. Yep. yep. They are going to do a jersey auction tonight and uh, waiting on the officials down there to get the three stars of the game. I was just talking to uh, Scott here. Uh, um, if that does go to a shootout, that could play dividends because it uh, it could affect the wins tiebreaker, I guess. That's above my pay scale. That, I have that no is definitely, idea. That's definitely. <laughs> I, I have even, no I idea. Didn't, I didn't think about that one, but yeah, that's. If Scott's a longtime Buccaneer no, fan, no, too, and he, and he knows. Nope, he's great. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Yep. No, good game for the Bucks. A huge game by Dahlmeyer there. He's really like he's been one of the best players on yeah. this ice. He really has. Yep. Where's he headed to next year? Really, Miami. Miami, Miami University. Ethan Dahlmeyer with the third star. Is I believe he got the third star. Third star? Yep, yep. They might have got that mixed around. Uh, I thought he was definitely one of the biggest playmakers on the ice tonight. Zinkla with the, I'm not sure which order he's going here. Second star. Yep. And then. And Engel with the number one star. Young player out of Minnesota. Actually, correct me, I'm wrong, Arlington Heights, Illinois. <laughs> All right, I think that's going to do it for Jared and I. Jared, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate well, you being on here tonight. It's been a blast. Um, Thanks, Tony. Yeah, it was fun. So we're going to call it a night. It's been a long uh, two days for me going up to Sioux City and back, and my body always tells me if I go to bed late, I get up early in the morning still because I'm so used to getting up early. So. I'm ready to go to bed. Absolutely. I'm ready for a cold beverage and then go to bed. That sounds delicious. <laughs> yes. Well, thanks for listening to Des Moines Buccaneers Hockey. Jared and Tony Scott off the air.